Good morning, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today is weigh-in day, I'm super excited. And I'm in my bedroom, weird, I know. Uh, we're at Manchester, it's home games, it's the European Championships. I've packed my bag there, ready for tonight to head over to the hotel. I'm not gonna stay in my room, I'm gonna head to a hotel and make it kind of a bit more real. Um, otherwise I'll just be chilling in my room and it'll be like any other normal day, which is probably not the best idea for a major comp. So, I'm ready to go, I'm all ready to weigh in. I've just weighed myself from 66.6, which is like, well under my weight, probably a bit too light, very light actually. I've got all my snacks ready, they're down there, and that is it. Gonna head to the venue for around nine o'clock because we have a power athlete on who's on like first fight. So I wanna go and make sure I don't miss that. And then the rest of the guys are kind of dripped throughout the day. So you can follow me around, see what I do after weighing and see what happens between now and tomorrow. My family are also coming up, which is super exciting. Debating whether or not to go to fit for food with them today after I've waited. In. Look, I'm mumbling my words because I'm so flipping dehydrated. Yes, yeah, debating whether to go and see them today and then just chill out for the rest of the day. Get ready for tomorrow, so. It's gonna be a fun video. Uh, let's get started. Oh, way! Heading over with Lakira. I've got my little scoot scoot in the back because it's only like a five minute drive and I refuse to pay petrol prices and my car is actually running on low, so. I've got my scooter to travel back and forth. It's great because we've just left the house and look, we're nearly there. It's probably one of the weirdest things about a home event is that you wake up and it's pretty much on your doorstep, which is quite cool, yeah. So the perk of me bringing my little scooter, I've been told I need to bring my coffee machine. Remember in my last video I bought a coffee machine? Well, here it is. And the guys want it at the academy. I've got a mic on my chest so they'll hear me. Gary's laughing at me. Gary, my PA, is over there. He's laughing at me because I'm just cool, isn't I? Nobody else is doing this. So yeah, I'm going to Uber Eats the um, coffee machine. Let me show you. It's in there. Probably not the safest of transports, but hey. I am going to take you straight into the venue and I'm going to show you the GB hub. We, I call it the GB hub, but it's basically GB Taekwondo have set up an area for us exclusively, um, home advantage and all. And I'm going to take you through there, show you what kind of prep we've got, uh, show you how the athletes prepare, how they warm up and where they go just before they fight. So let's go. All right, this is the entrance. We're at the National Squash Centre, which is in Manchester, um, next to the Etihad Stadium. Uh, this is where most of our major events are held. It's quite cool, actually. Good morning. Good morning. No worries. Right, so we've just come through them double doors. There's security on the doors. Basically, only GB athletes are allowed in this little area. Um, the referees are just through there. And then we are down here. Come down this little corridor thing. All the normal athletes would warm up in the warm period that's been matted out for them, but that's kind of across the other end of the arena. This is for our, this is our little bit. Oh, yeah. oh he's happy now, he's got the coffee machine. <laughs> So this is where we'd walk out. I'm pad up, ready to go. Alright, so all the other athletes are free to get warming up. There's like a massive out area. The old gym has been used as a matted gym. screen here. So what is quite cool I'm going to show you right now is this is where we walk out for the finals, semi-finals. Um, this is where all the athletes will walk out. There's a tunnel and this is what the athletes see. So all the crowd will be there cheering you on, the lights will come down, you'll walk out here, maybe with a mascot, maybe not. This is kind of like a behind the scenes thing. So we are very fortunate as a GB team to have that little bit to ourselves, that little room that nobody else can go through. So this bit's all kitted out for physio, we've got some treatment areas here, um, all the tape, everything's set up ready. 
weighing scales and then obviously these screens that keep the privacy. We have a great set up here, massive thank you to all the staff that are involved that make this possible because without our support network we wouldn't be able to pull this off so we have this little section to make sure that we're fully focused, well taken care of, one step ahead of anybody else which is super cool. Uh, yeah, let's go and support the team. Done, I'm all way done. I'm gonna have some juice to start on. Start my little rehydration thing. Phil's here, my nutritionist. He's walking me through everything, but I pretty much know it. it's all good. But look, we've got this little station going on, which is cute. We've got all the fruit, recovery stuff, all the fruit, that kind of thing. Oh, so excited. I'm gonna have some pineapple juice. This is where my little coffee machine belongs as well. The coffee machine that I speak about. Here it is. All plugged in, ready for the team. Got the pods from Asda. Wait, this is such a sick setup. I'm actually really excited to find out. I can't wait. Woo! That's your pasta and sauce. That's your combined pasta. That's your thingy and the chicken's just coming. Mmm. I've not eaten just yet, I've only drank. I'm gonna focus on carb heavy foods to refuel. Right. Bit of lettuce, isn't it? Just above the sesame. Roast potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 take a risk. Oh, slow motion doesn't hit the water here. It's adjudicated. Oh! You got to put your foot down. Put down, put down where it was. Oh, that's it, yeah. Jiu-jitsu? Jiu-jitsu? Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, you let it all go on. It's all right now, guys. <laughs> go on, Saran. So I've just ordered some food from Itsu Delivery. Whoa. Fancy some sushi, got yours as that kind of thing, rather than lasagna, because lasagna was kind of the option in our bit. So yeah, we're going with this. I'm super excited to eat. I'm gonna watch some finals and then we head back to the hotel. Oh yes. Speaking of lanes, stay in yours. <laughs> <laughs> have to get out of this. So good, I've got some sushi. Bao buns and some. It's the wrong goyozas. I, I asked for veggie ones, but they give me the chicken ones. Gold medalist and European champion of the women's Kata Taekwondo, K.O.F. Minus 65 Kilogram Competition, representing Great Britain, Beth Monroe. Now, some at the hotel now. I've just come back from my house and I thought, right, I'm going to sneak out of the hotel. No one's going to see me. I'm not going to wear anything but my pyjamas. I've got nothing on but my pyjamas. And I thought, oh, I've got a long coat. It'll cover me. I'm fine. I'm only driving two minutes away. No one's going to see me. So I walk out of my hotel room, my coach, right? Okay, I thought, right, you see me in worse states. I'm not going to lie. Got to my car, got to my house. Anyway, drove back to the hotel. I get stopped in reception by two girls and their dad. I, I think it was their dad anyway. By two girls and this guy saying that they're my fans and they want a picture. I was like, oh my God, no. I'm so sorry, right? I have just had a picture with a fan. Look up the state of me like this, right? This is exactly what I'm wearing, ready? This, you'd say, all right, acceptable. Here's a bit of a mess. This, this is not fine. This is not okay. I've just had a photo with two young girls. I'm so sorry if you're watching this. Look at the state of me. I'm ready for bed and I look like I have nothing on. Like this is really embarrassing. That's probably the worst day I've ever had a photo in, in my life. I did apologize and say, come back tomorrow at the venue and I'll have a better picture. But to be honest, my face won't be much neater. The only thing different, I'll probably wear a few more clothes. But um, yeah, that was tragic. I thought I'd see nobody, but I ended up um, seeing a lot of people. So one thing I've learned, if any, is always go out prepared. I'm excited, I'm on a buzz now. I need to come off this high and go to sleep. Get ready, uh, I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning, it's flight day. I've just woken up, it's 10 past seven and I've not got random weighing. Um, I've weighed myself and I'm 69 anyway, so I'm about 
a kilo and a half under that. I've just packed my stuff. I'm gonna head over to the venue now and get started. I probably won't film too much. I catch with my family and then start warming up ready to fight. So I'm super excited. I cannot wait. I really want to make the finals. That's like my big thing. I absolutely love performing it on a big stage in front of everybody. And I just, I want to get to that point of the competition that really excites me, so. I brought all my family onto a ring because they've never actually seen a ring before and they're quite blown away on how small they actually are. They're all just like baffled. Take your shoes off. We're on our way back. My, uh... Oh my god, don't fall off. Oh, go on, Alex, go get him! Parents are nuts. Look, here he comes. Look at him go! Oh, he's almost on his way out. Look at him go! Oh, he's almost on his way out. 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 Oh, he's almost on his way out.